I'm just telling you, it, it was bad. And and you wanted to not come back to New Jersey for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I remember. Because you'll find there your body dead in the woods, yeah. like for real. You, you guys were afraid to come back up here. Before. Oh, they'll kill you. You were down they'll kill you. for a while. Well, I liked it there. You know, I didn't care. I liked it there. But 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 they will. They will kill you and act like it was an accident. Because Adrian, next door here, um, and he is such a nice guy. He doesn't bother anybody. He works hard. He's a substitute teacher. He does. He is just a good soul. He's a he real good nice. soul. He is, decent. he is a decent, moral, good soul person. He's up at Wawa. He goes into Wawa to get a drink. His car's getting gas. And he comes out. And one of the cops sees him, and he go, and I can't remember what he said to him, but it was very nasty. He goes, because Adrian's got a beard. Adrian know? has a beard. He goes, don't you think you should shave that off? What are you, a dirty hippie? What's right? And he doesn't look like, they don't look like a dirty hippie. He's like, what are you, dirty hippie? What do you got that beard on you for? Maybe I should jack you up. He's saying, this cop is saying all this shit to Adrian. Stay, stay calm. Ridiculous. Maybe you can eat my ass. Yeah, and, and I go, Adrian, what did you do? He goes, I told him, man, you need to leave me alone. I don't know what your problem is. You need to leave me alone. He goes, but that's all I want to say because it's going to be my word right. against his. Next thing you know, he's calling in the posse and they got me on the ground with a bullet in my head. Yeah. And that's what gets me. You got Black Lives Matter acting like it's only black people being shot. It is more white people that have been shot and killed by police than it has been blacks. Absolutely. It's just not publicized. They don't and nobody that. and they and don't, they don't talk about it and and it's and nobody's rioting over them either. I mean, like, where's the riot and the looting for the white kid that was just shot in the face? Now, granted, you know, honestly, he pointed a gun at the cops, and they're talking about he was an honor student, he was wonderful. I call that death. I call that suicide by cop. Yeah. Yep. How are you gonna? I mean, I don't care who you are, white, black, orange, or purple. If you point a gun at a cop, what do you think is going to happen? Shot. Yeah, he got shot, and nobody's calling that racist, but he got shot because it wasn't racist. The cop is standing there. The guy points the gun at him, and if I'm a cop, I'm like, me or you? Right. Gonna Not going to be me. I'm yeah. going to have to shoot you. Right. See, and, and this kind of stuff goes on all the time. Like, the people around here, they were being harassed. Ticketed to death, harassed. Now that they broke that up, there hasn't been too much of that going on. But they didn't fire those police. They just moved them to different uh, barracks. So words, That's what happened to the people that were trying to come forward about this case. Yeah, they were scared to death because it was New Jersey. Yeah. Because they take people out and they kill them in the woods. And they do different things to them. And people don't want to open their mouth about it. Well, it's, now it's, they're, it's, now, look, they're, now they're listen, hiding it out now because they... <laughs> Yeah, well, look, it's the same. Yeah, but listen, it's the same as the inner city and gang members. A gang member goes and shoots somebody in front of 30 different people, but nobody saw a damn thing. Exactly. It's the same concept. It's the same thing. Just a different hood. That's all it is. Same thing, different hood. (laughs) Now, as far as she goes, um, Jeanette De Palma... Everybody's known for more than 20 years that this was a satanic killing. There, there was symbols a- around her. There was um, um, a stone halo. There yeah, like, yeah, everything. I mean, and, letters, carving, yeah. inscriptions, inscriptions. And everybody knows it, but all of a sudden, oh, explain. Explain, Steve. Oh, what happened? Well, yeah, all of a sudden, all, the, all this evidence was lost in 1999 after, like I said, after Weird New Jersey started pushing the issue. That in 99, Hurricane uh, Floyd... Stop right there. Do you think that evidence was really lost? Because I could tell you it wasn't. No, it was destroyed. And I'm going to tell you how... It how was dest- no. I'm sure it was destroyed. No, I don't, I don't believe that. Or hidden. Exactly, hidden. Because we know somebody else that had a case with a police that didn't do anything. And apparently the camera was rolling the whole time in the cop car. But when it went to go to court, all of a sudden... All of a sudden, what happened, Linda? You were there. What happened? Oh, wait, say, oh, sorry. What? We, we know somebody that um, the police arrested and said they did something wrong, but it was all caught on tape and they didn't do anything at all. It was all the cop. It was all caught well, on well, tape. Well, they got rid of the tape. They got rid of the tape. They told the judge yeah. that it mysteriously was lost. Yeah. Because with that tape, that person would have walked free. Are you talking about what I think I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. 
So they lost it? Conveniently, they, they did. It. They got rid of it. They Conveniently, said, yeah. they did. And and when they were waiting to go into court, the chief of police showed up, and he's walking back and forth threatening the entire family. Yeah. Except for one person who don't play them games. <laughs> you know? One person ain't playing them games. One person told them where the fuck they could go. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, seriously. That's bullshit. And, I, and like me, myself, I have respect for, for good, decent police. I right. know there's police out there just trying to do their job. I'm like, you know, protect the blue line. You know, like I have no a problem with police. Right. Just like when people say... I hate this group of people or I hate that race of people. Yeah. No, what it is is you've had a run in with somebody of that race and they've pissed you off. You so you associate with it. Right. I know that I've only known about three or four bad cops in my lifetime. The rest have been decent people. Right. I do know that they have a ticket quota. Don't let them fool you. They do because I have a family member that dates a cop and was told, yeah, look, this is what we got to do. That's why at the end of the month they're Racking it but, up. You know, at the end of the day, if you're if you're real, if you're doing a crime and it's a petty crime and you get caught doing it, it sucks. Just just go, just pay your pay your toll. You know, pay whatever you're required to pay. Exactly, because it's not worth the headache. It's not. It's and really they not. count on that too. So at least they shouldn't lie about it, though. Right. If you're really doing something, then they got to get their ticket. Then you're really doing something. Yeah. But if you're not... I mean, a lot of times, if you're just decent to the cop that pulls you over, they'll let you go with a warning. Yeah, I, I get let off all the time. Because I'm, I'm respectful to them. If they're, if they're nice to me, I'm nice to them. Even if they're a little bit of an yeah, asshole, yeah, sure. I'm going to shut my mouth and, you know, do what I need to do to carry on. But, it, but if it gets too out of hand, yeah. I, I, won't, I, I won't put up with it. I won't. Understandable. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway... I don't think that evidence was lost, Steve. No, I think it's hit, either, yeah, like you said, destroyed, hit him, whatever. But but now recently, more recently, um, I guess it's resurfaced again because for whatever reason, people were interested in it. And be, well, because like you said, more and more. No, more this case has been going on, on forever. Going people people on write and, in about it all the time. Yeah. You know, there are, there, there's books on it. There's magazines on this girl. There's people have not forgotten about it. And it's still going on. I know. It's still going on. Well, she wasn't the only one that was killed in a satanic ritual in New Jersey either. You just don't hear about the other ones because they keep them under wraps. No, there's there's quite a few. like um, That you heard about? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, okay. Let me tell you. Let me see if it's this one here. I have up. Uh, yep, yeah, here we go. This is another one. And it's in the same area, too, which... Um, Unsolved occult killings in, in West Patterson, 1979. So a, a few years after her killing. Well, when was her? 72? 72. 72? 72. Okay, this was in December of 79. Um, it was in West Patterson in the woods. Again, a guy and a woman um, brutally beaten. Um both in the same manner. Um, their ears were cut off. Their eyeballs were stabbed with a knife. Oh, gosh. Um, dozens of puncture marks that were made with a very large surg uh, surgical needle. Um, identical marks on, on both of the different bodies. Um, they were fully drained of all their blood. All their blood was drained yeah. out of them. Yeah. That was definitely a satanic yep. thing. And what they tried to say, I bet the media tried to say it wasn't. Um, when the coroner looked him over, he said it was expertly done. And it was done with a, a veterinarian's needle. Is what uh. they used to drain the blood out of both bodies. Um, but in each of the dead bodies, there was a clump of black hair found. In each of the bodies. And um, they believe it was some kind of a cult symbol to possibly turn them into some kind of uh, possibly like human voodoo dolls. Right. Yeah, right. that's right. like really or strange. 